In the domain of science and monstrous mysteries, the subject of what existed before the immense impact has ignited blended conversations and enthralled masterminds for quite a while. This significant question doesn't just test how we decipher the universe, it challenges the genuine constraints of human information. Envision remaining at the edge of existence, looking into the vast unknown, and considering what lay there before our universe was imagined. The occasion of the Big Bang marked the beginning of humankind, space, and all that we know. Yet, was there a moment before this? Might there at any point have been a state of nothingness, a silence before the grand cosmic symphony began? And assuming this is true, what was it? Or perhaps there was something considerably more confounding that existed before time itself. As we delve deeper into this mystery, science takes us on a journey beyond the universe's starting point into ideas that challenge our understanding. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his exploration of the wonders of the universe, suggests that something phenomenal could have existed before the Big Bang. He urges us to rethink our concept of reality and existence. In this exploration, we will examine the science, the theories, and the shocking secrets that could explain what existed prior to everything. We'll explore ideas like inflationary growth, quantum fluctuations, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we uncover may astound you, but they could also offer new perspectives on our place in the universe. Get ready to dive deeply into a world beyond imagination, a science where the unknown still casts shadows, leaving researchers awestruck and, at times, even uneasy. To understand what could have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to carefully analyze what the Big Bang genuinely was. As scientists define it, the Big Bang refers to the moment when the universe became extremely hot and dense, rapidly expanding to initiate the formation of matter, energy, and cosmic forces. When we gaze into the night sky, we see evidence of this fiery beginning, with galaxies spreading out from an initial state. But why did this happen? And was there a time before this hot, dense start? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was far from empty or peaceful. Inflation suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and smooth, much like a vast vacuum. However, this vacuum wasn't completely empty. It contained an immense amount of energy that fueled the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, called inflation, happened so quickly that it essentially set the stage for everything that would follow. In a tiny fraction of a second, space expanded at unimaginable rates until inflation slowed down and the energy transformed into particles, matter, and the forces we associate with the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly expand the universe? And why did it stop? Experts believe that this rapid expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric stretching endlessly, with tiny bubbles forming here and there, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This idea, known as the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are potentially countless Big Bangs and innumerable universes. Ours is just one of many. This vast, mind-bending reality challenges our understanding of the universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not definitive. Yet, based on our current understanding, even if you stripped away all energy, matter, and radiation from the universe, it still wouldn't be truly empty. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that form a complex tapestry of something, even in its emptiest state. Even if we imagined removing these forces, leaving behind a void, the universe would still generate new forms of energy. This reality alone is astonishing to experts, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. For instance, there's a phenomenon called zero-point energy, which represents the lowest possible energy state of a quantum field. In this state, particles can still briefly appear and disappear, creating a faint echo of activity even in what should be empty space. This challenges our concept of a true void and implies that, yes, even before the Big Bang, 
there was something, something researchers are only beginning to grasp. One of the most fascinating theories in modern cosmology is the idea of eternal inflation. If inflation could create our universe, it's possible that it continues indefinitely. Brian Cox describes a vast inflationary multiverse where universes are endlessly created and continue to expand. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another universe, while inflation continues in other regions, creating countless distinct universes. This process could, in theory, go on forever. This concept of vast universes gives rise to an intriguing idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe could generate its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent space, unaffected by others due to the rapid expansion of space. For researchers, this theory is both exciting and unsettling, as it suggests an infinite multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe as just a small part of a grand, infinite design, constantly growing and continuously creating new universes. What if the unsettling truth is that there is no before or after, but rather an eternal cycle of universes forming and dissolving? Our understanding of nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just an assortment of matter floating in space. Instead, it is a complex network of energy fields that permeate the universe, interacting to create everything we observe. These fields behave like invisible seas, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when the fields are in their lowest energy state, known as the vacuum state, they remain active. Particles can still appear and disappear within these fields instantaneously, gaining energy before evaporating. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, which briefly exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The nature of virtual particles challenges the concept of an absolute void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would this result in complete nothingness? According to quantum field theory, it wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, occasionally creating transient particles. This ongoing activity in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't conform to our idea of a void. The fields and forces persist, filling the universe with a mysterious energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises a fascinating question. If fields can create particles and particles make matter, could the universe itself have arisen from nothingness filled with quantum fields, dark energy, and a mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of our universe? Some hypotheses suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger form, could have driven the inflationary phase, causing rapid expansion and laying the foundation for the universe as we know it. These ideas push the boundaries of our comprehension, challenging our perceptions of reality, existence, and the very nature of time and space. Development, the presence of dull energy today, could be a leftover of an early stage energy field that existed before our universe's development. Its properties recommend a cryptic power that may have formed the circumstances prompting the introduction of our universe. If dim energy was available before the huge explosion, could it have had an impact on the making of the actual universe? Might it at any point be the quiet planner of expansion or even the genuine beginning of our universe? Investigating this chance uncovers the potential for dull energy, not similarly as a power molding our universe, but as a key to opening the privileged insights of the multiverse. Another hypothesis that offers an option in contrast to the huge explosion as the extreme start is cyclic cosmology, the possibility that the universe undergoes endless patterns of birth, demise, and resurrection. In this model, the enormous detonation isn't a one-time occasion, but part of an everlasting beat where universes extend, break down, and recover in a ceaseless cycle. This hypothesis suggests that our universe may have been reawakened from the remainders of a past universe. The course of constriction and development in a cyclic example would mean that there was never a genuine start, but rather a timeless grouping of universes arising, developing, and re-establishing themselves unendingly. Cyclic cosmology brings up significant issues. No time like the actual present, suggesting that time might be redundant instead of direct. 
It challenges the thought of a limited beginning and offers a vision of a limitless, infinite dance, a universe without a start or end. Then, straight, if this hypothesis is right, it could mean that what existed before the huge explosion was simply one more rendition of the universe, one that imploded exclusively to bring forth our ebb and flow universe. For specialists, this hypothesis offers a rich solution to the question of extreme starting points, proposing that there is no obvious start, that the universe has consistently existed in some structure, rising above our thoughts of time and presence. Beginning phase gravitational waves are another charming thought that could hold signs to what existed previously. The huge explosion, gravitational waves are swells in space-time brought about by gigantic, grandiose occasions, and scientists believe beginning phase waves, if at any time recognized, could uncover bits of knowledge into the universe's earliest minutes. These waves could serve as the reverberations of what preceded the huge explosion. Would it be advisable for them they be identified? They could provide evidence of the universe's past states. The possible discovery of gravitational waves from the pre-large bang period could be the key that opens a new understanding of our universe. The search for what existed before the large bang continues to unfold with groundbreaking ideas that reshape how we might interpret the universe. These investigations lead to even more noteworthy secrets about the idea of time, energy, and presence itself. Expanding on the hypotheses surrounding the nature of the universe before the enormous bang, one entrancing theory involves the idea of quantum froth. At the most tiny level, space isn't unfilled, but rather comprises a profoundly powerful fluctuating quantum field. This quantum froth, as it's called, proposes that even without issue and energy, there are still quantum vacillations, little passing changes in energy that can create and obliterate particles. This froth of action could have been the antecedent to the universe, conceivably bringing forth the first particles and powers that later became the texture of our perceptible universe. The possibility that the universe could have risen out of quantum froth is grounded in the principles of quantum mechanics, where vulnerability and likelihood are crucial. As indicated by Heisenberg's vulnerability standard, there are limits to how exactly we can quantify the properties of particles, for example, their position and energy. This prompts the probability that even in apparently unfilled space, particles can suddenly show up and vanish. If such quantum vacillations were sufficiently critical, they could have led to the huge energies that ultimately prompted the huge explosion. This hypothesis suggests that the huge explosion wasn't the start in a traditional sense, but rather the consequence of an enormous scope vacillation in the quantum froth that arrived at a basic edge, starting the fast extension of the universe. Notwithstanding quantum froth, a few cosmologists suggest that the universe might have started from a condition of misleading vacuum energy. The bogus vacuum hypothesis places that the universe preceding the huge explosion existed in a misleading vacuum state, a type of energy that is not in its most minimal conceivable energy design. This state is shaky, and as it rots, it can prompt the development of a genuine vacuum, which would discharge a huge measure of energy and trigger expansion. The misleading vacuum idea integrates with the thought that the early universe could have been brought into the world from a metastable condition of energy and that its abrupt breakdown prompted the fast development we associate with a huge explosion. A few speculations stretch out this to propose that our universe might have been conceived from a vacuum rot process, where the energy from this breakdown ignited the quick expansion and the formation of space-time. Another idea that has arisen is the holographic standard, which suggests that our universe, along with all that in it, may be a projection of data encoded on a far-off two-dimensional surface. This hypothesis, which is connected with dark hole thermodynamics and string theory, suggests that the universe probably won't be as genuine as we naturally suspect. Rather, the three-dimensional world we experience could be an indication of data put away on a limit, and time itself could be an arising property from this. From this perspective, what preceded the huge explosion may not be a customary before by any stretch of the imagination, since our view of existence could be a developed deception. The holographic rule suggests that the real essence of reality could be more conceptual and multi-layered than we can fathom, leaving us to rethink not just what existed before the enormous bang, but whether there even is a preceding in the traditional sense. 
The possibility of a cyclic or everlasting universe additionally ties into cutting-edge models of existence, where the huge explosion could be part of an unending course of creation and obliteration. This is known as the enormous Bob hypothesis. In this situation, instead of a solitary, one-time huge explosion, the universe goes through intermittent withdrawals and development. After every constriction, another enormous detonation happens, making another universe that is like yet unmistakable from the past one. Assuming this hypothesis is valid, it could suggest that the universe has consistently existed in some structure and that the enormous bang is one moment in a timeless cycle. This would challenge our customary comprehension of the dawn of history and presence, as it suggests that time itself is repeating and boundless, as opposed to straight and limited. There is additionally the idea of the no-limit proposition, presented by physicist Stephen Selling, which places that the universe doesn't have any limits or edges, either in space or time. As indicated by this thought, the universe may have been independent. As we venture further into the unknown, each theory, discovery, and piece of evidence brings us closer to a more profound understanding of the universe's origins, its current state, and its eventual fate. The pursuit of these mysteries, although daunting, is a testament to human curiosity and the drive to uncover the fundamental truths of existence. While the nature of what existed before the Big Bang may seem elusive and possibly beyond our current grasp, it raises important questions about the fabric of reality itself, about the nature of time, space, and energy. For now, the exploration continues. New technologies, Deeper space observations and advanced simulations are opening doors that were once closed, offering glimpses into realms we could only dream of understanding. The ultimate answer to the question of what happened before the Big Bang may lie in these future breakthroughs. However, the questions we are asking and the frameworks we are developing not only shape our understanding of the universe's past, but also lay the groundwork for future inquiries that may go beyond even the Big Bang itself. This quest is far from over. It is a journey of expanding human knowledge, challenging established norms, and pushing the boundaries of what we know about the cosmos. Each new finding, be it an observation of a distant galaxy, the detection of a gravitational wave, or the formulation of an elegant new theory, brings us a little closer to unlocking the true nature of our universe. Ultimately, the exploration of what existed before the Big Bang will continue to drive both theoretical and experimental physics, cosmology, and philosophy forward, forever shaping our understanding of reality and our place within it. And as we push the limits of science and technology, we may find that the questions are just as important as the answers, each inquiry opening up new avenues for discovery and understanding.